So, <clears throat> I'm in the bank parking lot right now of Capital One. And I'm kind of upset. And I'm, I'm trying to be more of an um, understanding individual. But I, I, I feel upset because <clears throat> I've been broke for these past few days because of Christmas. I spent my last dollar and I'm literally broke. I'm talking about not even a dollar. Matter of fact, I owe $40 in my, both of my accounts, my checking and my bank account. So I owe $80 <clears throat> to the bank. That's how broke I am. I'm living off my little credit card I got, which was, which has a $200 limit. Anyways, <clears throat> I just got paid today from work. Let me see. Hold on. I don't know why I won't show. There it is. I just got paid. Oh, fuck it. Anyways, it's $2,200. $2,263.08. I just got paid today. My thing is, I need the money, right? Because I got shit to do. You know, <clears throat> I have plans for the money already. <clears throat> and today's my last day off before I go back to work tomorrow. I need the money. We don't have groceries. I got to buy food, etc. right? Just living expensive. So, I come up here to the bank earlier, a couple hours ago, and I tried to cash my check, but I didn't have my, my ID. But I had a picture of it in my phone. So, I'm like, I'm going to try that, see if it worked. I went up to the counter, gave some Mexican guy. This is Capital One Bank. And i never seen this guy, and I always come to the bank. Anyway, I gave him my check, and then he asked for my ID, and I showed him a picture of it. He says... Can't do the picture. Got to have the real ID. I got to scan it. I'm like, okay. Understood. You know, security. So, go home, get my real ID, and I come back with the ID about two hours, one or two hours later. And I get here, and the guy's still at the window, and, you know, there's three tellers or not, and I, he's the next one open. So, I go to his window again. And I just don't like his vibe, first of all. I don't like how... You know, he didn't do anything wrong, but I don't I don't like his vibe. He is like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like he gave me the best fair professional service. I feel like I was judged without him saying anything because I got tattoos for one. I'm young, I'm black, and I'm taking a $2,000 check into the bank, which I have a bank account here, by the way, and I've been here for at least two years putting plenty of money in this bank but i come in here with a two thousand dollar check he ain't never seen me i got tattoos and i was here earlier with a picture i did on my phone so when i come back this time i still got a funny vibe from him anyways i'm kind of upset with the bank because i need the money today and <clears throat> i could have went to pls or some type of check cashing place and I would have had my check cash today. Now, I probably would have had to spend $20 or $30 because of the amount of money I'm trying to cash. They were probably going to charge me, charge me for it. But nevertheless, two things would have happened. I wouldn't have needed my ID. They would have charged me an extra $6 to $8 because I didn't have my ID. But since I cashed my check there to, before, I'm in the system. And with me being in the system, they can cash my check without my ID being present. Um, so PLS or somebody would have cashed my check today. So I said, you know what? I don't want to spend 20 or $30 on another bank when I already have a bank. And even though my bank is located 15 miles from my house, which I need to switch banks because it's a chase right across the street from my house. So I drive 15 miles to come over here and cash my check. And that's like, oh, we can't cash it. We got to deposit it. Because how it works is, since you don't have $2,000 in your bank account right now, and you're trying to cash a $2,000 check, we can't do it. Because how it works is, when you cash a check for $2,000, we really take the $2,000 that you already have out of your bank and give it to you. And then 
we wait until this check clears and put that into your account. So I'm like, rules are rules. I accept that it is what it is. But I don't like the vibe you gave me the whole time. It was, I feel like it was very unprofessional. I felt like I was judged. And I feel very uncomfortable from being judged. And also, I don't understand how a smaller bank like PLS can cash my check today and give me cash money in my hand. But the, the same bank that I've been banking with and put so much money through, I even got a credit card with y'all. I have a business account with y'all. I have, I have four accounts with y'all. I have a secure credit card, a business checking, a real personal checking, and a savings account with the same bank that I've been with for years. And y'all couldn't catch my check. I, under, I, I don't understand how it works, but I'm cool. Rules are rules. I'll follow the rules. Whatever. But after this check clears and I get this money, I'm closing my bank account. I'm going to a different bank. I don't like this bank. You know, there's a black lady inside here. I really like her. And a Mexican chick. Both of them are very professional. They make me feel good. I like talking to them. They treat me in a professional manner, you know, it don't matter if I got a dollar in the account or a million dollars, you know, it's still, I get the same good vibe, make me feel welcome. They offer me coffee, it's really professional, I love it. But this guy just, on top of all the other stress I got going on, and he's just following by the rules, I understand that. But the vibe that you gave me is not following by the rules. You know, I really, really, truly feel like he thought I was some type of a scammer. I walked into the bank with some type of a scam because before I even showed him my picture on my phone, which will probably, probably raise a red flag, like why he don't got his ID. You know, before I even showed him that I got a vibe from him, you know, the whole vibe was different. Because the people in front of me in line, he was talking to them in Spanish. And you could always tell in somebody's voice, they're kind of like happy-go-lucky. But then when I got to the window, it was really great. You know? He, then when I did give him my, my ID when I came back, he checked it like three times. He scanned it on the computer. He pulled up the account. He looked at the computer. He looked at my ID. He looked at me. He looked at the computer. It's like, bro... I've been sitting in this line for 10 minutes. And these two customers in front of me, you didn't do that with theirs. Matter of fact, the, the, pro, the, the process with their ID was so quick that I didn't even see them whip out the ID. That's how fast the ID process went through. I never had no bank teller do as much as you did with my ID as you did. They asked me for my ID, they look at it. And they look at the computer and put in the little information they need to put, get my shit back. You you damn near studied my shit. Looked at me, looked at my ID. And I'm cool with the security features. I'm cool with all that. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with being safe. But I don't feel like it was just being safe. I feel like your vibe was just different. You didn't trust me because of the way I look. That's how I feel. I feel like you didn't trust me because of the way I look. I really feel judged. I feel like I just got judged in this bank, bro. I'm closing my bank. I'm closing all four accounts. I'm going to a different bank. Y'all have lost my business. I don't understand how Capital One, who is larger than PLS, which is the check cash is store on the corner. Capital One is a real national, federally backed, backed by, backed by the federal government bank. 
their money is insured. If they get robbed today and all their money disappear, it really don't disappear. It come right back. So why y'all can't cash my check? They say, oh, well, PLS got contracts and such and such, and they can cash your check. Well, bitch, y'all can't get no contracts and cash my shit? Why, why, why do I have a bank account? Why do I have a bank account if I still got to wait on my money? I could, I, could, I should have just spent that little twenty dollars and got my money straight up, took it straight to the PLS corner store and cashed it and got my money right there in my hand. And even if you do deposit it, why I gotta wait till twelve o'clock tonight to get my money? I was having a good day, bro, and I think this just really. Set me down a dark road. Now I'm not happy anymore. Now I'm for to go home. Pissed off, upset. My my wife is there and my family there. And you know they want to talk to me. They miss me and everything. And I'm not even gonna be in the mood to fuck with them because of this shit. Something so sad. Maybe I'm going overboard. No. Rules are rules. And I'm cool with the rules. But I don't understand how you don't. You can't give me my money today. But another bank can. And they're not even a real bank. They're just a check cashing bank. They smarter than you, but they can do it. Why do I have a bank account? For what reason? Why the dude give me that vibe like that?